Fox Carolina First Alert Weather. Hey there, good morning everyone and happy Friday. Your forecast today, well, starting off with patchy fog this morning. Some seeing it more than others like northeastern Georgia. We have a dense fog advisory in place there until 9 o'clock today, really just because of all that continued fog that we could see. Patchy in general though. You can't rule out running into fog this morning and then also rain showers. That's going to keep our temperatures extremely mild but seasonal for this time of year. 55 for that high in Greenville, 60 likely in Clemson, 59 in Anderson, 58 in Lawrence, 49 in Asheville, just a tad cooler there. We don't warm up much, so we're waking up to mild temperatures. Still may need that light jacket this morning, but you could also go without it either way. But you need the rain gear later on throughout the afternoon. Also seeing breezy conditions across the upstate today, so that's something new for a change compared to the last couple of days. But we're keeping the cloudy conditions and we're keeping the rain chance. Very spotty and scattered throughout the morning, then becoming a bit more widespread from Franklin to Tacoa. Anderson and Greenwood seeing some moderate showers at times just before noon. Spreading across the upstate until about 3, 4 o'clock, then we'll start to see this move and drag a bit more east-southeast towards Lawrence and Newberry. And then again, that last little round from this cold front pulling through, a little bit of extra moisture on the back end of this around 7 o'clock. Very spotty, isolated shower chances. But then we dry out Saturday. We do have that chance still just in case. Don't want to throw you off if you're going to be out in any activities, any holiday activities like, for instance, Traveler's Rest Christmas Parade. I think you can easily just leave the umbrella at home, but it's Saturday night into Sunday morning when we again see that continued rain chance. How much rain we're going to see over the course of the next few days? Not much, like anywhere from half an inch, mainly for Tacoa, Hartwell, Elberton, Bryson City, seeing the bulk of this in Bakersville, but most of us like a tenth or two tenths of an inch. So if you're going to be out and about mingling this weekend, Kringle Holiday Village happening at Floor Field, for instance. I think you should be fine later on today. You could still get that very chance of a spotty, isolated light rain shower, like an occasional drizzle. It's going to be cloudy, though, a little gloomy. The 50s will continue all week long with Saturday night into Sunday being that next chance for the rain before we get the sunny skies. Finally, mostly sunny. A dry day all day long. It's coming for us on Monday and Tuesday before we pull in that next bout of rain on Wednesday into Thursday. Looks like we could up those chances too. Very seasonal temperatures though. The 50s hanging around all across our seven day. The mountains a little bit cooler at times like Wednesday and today. So you still may want to bundle up with the next week looking like we could even dip cooler than this. So a cooled spell coming across the United States for us that is in store as we go into next week. But for now, this weekend,